Morning all, Thursday Thoughts. This week I wanted to talk to you briefly about psychological risk management in the workplace. So it's hopefully the start of spring in Australia and there's maybe a smidgen of confidence starting to return to the business community depending on what state you're in. However, the events of the last couple of months have certainly put a huge amount of psychological strain on workers at all levels, but particularly with the businesses we work with, we've noticed such a big strain on managers, directors, um, CEOs, non-executive directors, basically all the C-suite senior people of the organisation have really taken a hit. So now that in a lot of Australian states, workers are starting to trickle back into office spaces to some degree, I think it'd be a great time for organisations to look at the way they manage psychological or psychosocial risk in the workplace. So I'm going to give you three quick tips on how you can start to get that process moving. So number one, I know that if you're an employer in Australia, the workers' comp system can feel shambolic and contrived at the best of times. However, unless you have access to self-insurance or captive insurance products, you don't have another option. So get out there and go and play jolly hockey sticks with your insurer and see if they've got programs, initiatives, anything, grants in place that you can access to try and elevate the way you manage psychological risk. The second area I think you should consider is risk analysis specifically related to psychological and psychosocial factors in the workplace. So look, the techniques we use a lot are bow tie analysis, scenario analysis, stress testing, a whole bunch of things like that. I won't cover them today in this video, but I would encourage you, if you want to know more about them, come and join us next week at the Community of Risk Management. And we've got a Trello board that everyone that's on that group can access that's got heaps of resources as well as some detailed um, how-to videos that we've put together on techniques like the bow tie. And so the third area leading to that then is come and join us next Wednesday at the Community of Risk Management. So we're back in a monthly format now and next week we're going to be having our friends in the legal community join us to discuss trends, emerging issues and strategies around the management of psychological risk and workers' compensation in general off the back of the period we've just been through. And unlike what you get in mainstream media these days, it's actually a constructive, data-driven and balanced argument. So if you're up for it, come and join us for some quality professional development, some laughs and good banter as always. And happy Thursday. Don't forget to wash your hands.